Hi there and welcome to this quick tutorial on the new auto reframe functionality built into this latest edition of Adobe Premiere Pro. So that's Premiere Pro CC 2020 or version 14. And as the name suggests, this new feature allows you to automatically reframe video. So if you're wanting to export to different aspect ratios, for example, for social media use, this function will come in really handy. And it uses the sort of built-in AI engine uh, from Adobe to automatically analyze your video and reframe it with the subject in frame. So I've been doing a little bit of testing of this, trying it out in some different scenarios. I'll take you through how it works, show you what its limitations are and how best to use it. So we're gonna start off here with a few clips. You can see here we have a clip on the timeline, a woman at a computer. This is shot in a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And you can see that the woman here is sitting over on the left side of the frame. There's quite a lot of negative space here on the right. So if we go ahead and just change the aspect ratio to a square one. Once we've done that, we have this square frame and she's kind of awkwardly positioned quite far over to the left hand side of the frame. And what we would need to do now is manually move the frame towards the right, put her in the center of the image to make it look a little bit more balanced. However, what we can do is use this new auto reframe effect. And if we just drop that on the clip, what you'll see is it begins to analyze. And that was done in real time. You can see the analyzing really only took a couple of seconds for this clip, which is about 10 seconds long. And what it's done is now move her to the center of the frame. The shot looks a lot more balanced. It looks a lot better framed for this aspect ratio. And if we go ahead and play through the clip, you can see that she maintains a position there and it looks pretty balanced. Here's something with a little bit more movement in. We have a woman running up a set of rocks. And once again, you can see with the square aspect ratio, it's awkwardly framed. She's way too far over to the left side of frame. And we would once again have to manually keyframe this. But with the tool, you can see if we pop that on there, let it do its thing. And we can see now that it has been reframed. So she holds pretty much the center of the frame. It looks much better composed. So if I actually go ahead and just turn on the motion of the frame, what we can see here is the original blue outline is the original 16 by 9 frame. And what you can see that this effect is doing is just moving that frame to keep the subject in frame at all times. And you can see all it's doing is adding position keyframes automatically for you, saving you a lot of time of doing this manually. So one final example, what I thought I'd do is really try it to breaking point. I have a clip here of a runner who comes into frame, he starts out of focus, and then is occupying the very extremes of the frame on the right hand side. As well as that, there's a lot of camera movement, and I thought this would be a really good test to see if the effect can deal with this. So that's the clip there, and you can see that he definitely disappears off the side of the frame on the right hand side. So if we go ahead and add in the effect. Now after adding the effect and doing the analysis, what I'll actually do is take the motion preset, drop that down and select faster motion because there's a lot of camera movement. The subject themselves is moving pretty fast and so this should help the effect get a more accurate result. And then if we go and play through, we can see it's pretty good and the subject is maintaining a nice central part of the frame. There's a little bit here, just there, where he does actually go outside the frame. And we can see that we do have a little bit of space. So this is where I'm gonna to have to actually manually override what the effect has done. I'm gonna delete a few of its keyframes, and then I'm just gonna adjust the frame to my liking. And then I'm gonna add in my own keyframe, right about here, I think to move the frame a little bit further over and fill him more in this square aspect ratio. And if we play through again, we can see that he's maintaining pretty much as close as he can to the center of the frame. That's looking pretty good. And so that's an example of really testing it to its breaking points, but even with that, all it requires is a few manual steps, which is definitely a lot quicker than reframing the whole thing from scratch. So overall, this tool works pretty well. Hopefully this video has been useful. If you've got any questions or comments, please drop them below. I'll do my best to get back to you. 
Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.